I'm sitting down today with Coach Severin from Chart Champions. He's a new coach from this year, and this video is really to give him an introduction of space so everyone can get to know him, how he is as a trader, how he's making money, and you know maybe a little bit of insights about himself too. So it's gonna be a nice video for everyone to get to know each other. And so there, welcome Severin. What did you do before you became a trader and started this amazing journey? Yeah, I was studying management and economics and I was working at one of the big four. Yeah. So um, I was into consultancy and also auditing. Mm -hmm. And that is where I got to know der derivatives in the first place. Okay. And then that led you, your curiosity spiked and was like, oh, trading. Yeah, I had a bit of a financial background, okay, yeah. um, but I was always keen on investing in general. So I always liked the idea of um, owning shares of a company. And I was signing up for this um, Bitcoin exchange. By accident, actually, I bought Bitcoin. <laughs> so in the first place, I was like, wow, I didn't want to do this. But then I thought, yeah, maybe I just keep it. Maybe it was a coincidence. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, and then I was always looking at my portfolio and it was such a big volatility. That's yeah. where I was like, maybe I can make use of this volatility and that's what got me into trading and what year was it that you you started to like pick your interest i think it was in 2018 okay yeah so the market then was yeah on its way down fairly stable but yeah extremely volatile music. yeah <laughs> and i used to check my portfolio every morning every evening before i go to sleep i was looking at this and i was like man the difference in my portfolio is insane maybe i can make use of that and what i really liked about trading all the time because i'm personally a very ambition person and I was working when I was working at the big four yeah. I always wanted to have a great career in order for me to level up or have a better income I need to work dub double the amount of time yeah. and with uh, trading that was really like what fascinated me was it's the same amount of time mm -hmm. for a better outcome so yeah you mentioned you know stumbling almost upon Bitcoin I'm really interested actually because yeah. I've not asked you this either like how did you how did you stumble across it was a friend recommending someone in the office or it was just a random random article that popped up how was that yeah I think it was my curiosity because I was always checking the financial market and I was checking some videos online I was reading articles and then at some point I think yeah that is where I stumbled across uh, Bitcoin yep. and that's what got me interested because overall I like the idea of Bitcoin so that was why I was so interested in it yep. and in the first place even before I was interested in trading I was thinking about the idea so I was more interested in the fundamentals in the first place but now I completely shifted over and I don't really care what Bitcoin does yeah. I mean overall I like the idea in some way but I'm way more interested in the price action so. yeah yeah that's it so then your transition to become a trader was just you recognize well this is volatile this is where I can make the most amount of money and you, you transition from no longer that investing mindset to more like you start to realize ah oh, this is this is something I can do as a full time yeah. and, and make a career out of it exactly yeah so what I uh, so I think with me I was always viewing this as a profession I could really pursue yeah. so that's I think was what um, really helped me in the beginning was that I always took it really serious so whenever I do something I'd give it my all or or I don't even start yeah. and then when I when the more I learned about trading in general that's what got me really yeah hyped and I was so interested in it that yeah. I wanted to give it my all full dedication and um, yeah, I think that's what got me. And, and how did you find Chart Champions? How did you stumble across us? I actually remember the day. So um, I was sitting with my brother and I was checking YouTube and I came across CC and I was telling him, man, that is the real deal. Cause I've never seen auto flow before. Yeah. And that's, what, that's where I was like, okay, this guy's doing something else. He's checking auto flow that for, to me looked fancy. And I was like, yeah, that's looking cool. I think I want to learn about that. <laughs> and yeah, um, and that was the first day I learned about CC. Yeah. And the week after I checked every single video on YouTube first. And then where it's like, I need to sign up for CC. So um, yeah, and then that's what got me started. Oh, that's really interesting. And, 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 and for the audience to be aware how I met Severin is we done uh, like chart champions meetups. So at the time uh, we, we met in several different countries that we were hosting meetups in where there was like 50, around 50 members in each one. And I met Severin just as like a person from the community. And, uh, and obviously in these meetups, I meet so many different people. Everyone has their stories and everyone has their, their life. And I really had this connection with Severin where I was like, this guy knows what he's doing. Uh, I really just knew like, this guy's special and he has a, he has a talent here uh, and he's taking it really seriously. That's the vibe I got. He's just like, this guy's switched on, you know, he's young, 
just, just, I just knew like this guy really knows what he's doing. And when the opportunity came up where we needed, uh, you know, to find some new coaches, I knew straight away like I want to get Severin because I've met him, and that was a really big bonus. And on top of that, I just I had this good feeling about him that he's gonna do really, really well. And and now that's come come true. <laughs> like it felt like it was all lined up from the beginning. It's it's really, really nice to see like uh, how it's it's come along from from my perspective. And obviously the members like. They love you now as well. <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah, and I re actually remember the day. So um, when I heard about a CC meetup, I was like, t I was talking to my girlfriend, and I was like, okay, next week we're gonna fly out to the US and um, be a part of this meetup. And that is where I really realized how great this commu community is, because all of these people were just striving. They had the same goals as I did. It was really special to meet you. And um, yeah, that was the day where I decided I'm going to be at every CC meetup meet up there's ever going to be. And yeah, I think that was great to um, catch up with you so often. So um, yeah, that was great. And then when I was asked to be, become a coach, for me, the biggest reason for me doing it was really that I know the impact it can have, it can have on someone's life. Yeah. And I truly want to give back what I learned along the way because I learned most of my strategies with NCC, but I think I found a way to, or I found a unique way to develop these strategies and build my own. Yeah. And to me, it is just, uh, yeah, it's a great opportunity to give back. And um, I, yeah, share the vision. I truly believe in CC. That's why I think for me now that I, made such a great progress it's time to give back and also share that with the community so what, what would you feel was a turning point or what made you the trader you are today i think it was my dedication so um, as i told you before when i start something i really want to do well at it so i wanted to become the best trader i can possibly be and i was taking it very serious so i approached it from the beginning on that it could be a career path i really want to pursue so I took it serious, I viewed it as a business, and I think my mindset was always that if I start a business, it's not gonna turn out to be profitable from the beginning onwards. So it needs time to develop and it needs time, it needs full dedication, hard work. And I think my discipline, but also my structure, um, yeah, helped me to become a profitable trader and really transition these strategies and make them my own. And yeah, the way I approach trading in general, I think. And I also think like financial markets always evolve. Yes. So as a trader, it's our responsibility to adapt if any strategy at, cer at a certain point is no longer working. Yeah. And I've me I mean, I've experienced that throughout my journey as well. So when I was trading Bitcoin, for example, I used to trade when there was a lot of volatility. But when the market then slowed down, so the volatility slowed down, I had to find other assets I can trade. So at the end of the day, for me, it's not so much about the asset or the, I'm also not too focused on the strategy. If I need to trade a different asset, I'm open to develop a new strategy. Yeah, um, yeah and that was also, I think in the beginning for me, um, I always heard about the statistic that 95% of traders lose money, but I, always, I was always under the perspective that so many people, and there is this bad light on trading, I would say, yeah. um, where it is a get-rich-quick scheme. And when you really take it serious, that's when we, you can come out on the other side of the tunnel. So um, yeah, I was always thinking these 95% of traders, that's not gonna be me. I'm gonna be the 5% uh, and is, I'm gonna do whatever it takes. That is the mindset to have. I think, uh, yeah, in trading, it's all about managing the emotions as well as managing expectations. You know, we always will say, even to each other, you know, it takes time, it takes a lot of effort. And you know, if, if you quit, and you're never going to make it. But if you keep on going at it every day, making mistakes, taking losses, but learning from them, you know, just in life in general, you're always going to lose, but you've got to get back up and keep on studying, keep on going for it. And, you know, have that form of inspiration and goals and just work hard. <laughs> Yeah, and that is actually something I took from you a lot. So I personally used to record some snippets where you was, were talking about these things and I was listening to it over and over again, over and over again, because I aspired to be a trader like you. And then I was like, okay, he went through the same stages. So it's not, um, it is normal that I'm taking losses. It's normal that I'm struggling in the beginning. So yeah, yeah I think that was really useful for me. And so how would you feel that your life has now changed since you've become a, a profitable trader? I think for me, the biggest thing is really the freedom you have as a trader. So obviously you have a freedom of choice where you live. 
you also have a freedom of choice and what you do in your time. Like you can, trading is very flexible, especially if you're in the European time zone. Mm -hmm. I can really structure my day the way I like to. Yeah. And I personally enjoy being self-employed. So I'm dependent on myself. I'm building something for myself. I'm responsible for myself. Yeah. And I can really reap the rewards that I planted, so. Yeah, that, that's a massive benefit of trading, yeah. yeah. So so much freedom, and I think that's why the majority of the people want it. They want to get out of this nine to five rat race where they're just a, a person in the system and trading, you can become your own your own business, your own man, and have so much freedom, and yeah, I, I can see that. Yeah, and it's, I mean, obviously it's also about the financial freedom, that's yeah. what I was mentioning before, so the leverage you have in trading. Yeah. So I was always thinking to myself, if I put in the same amount of time, I can either trade with 1,000, 100,000, 1 million, 10 million, and so on and so forth. So the button I press is gonna be the same. So um, that's what I really like about it. Yeah, when you think about trading, it's actually, it's, I don't think there's anything else in the world where you can make so much money so quickly. It's like impossible, like trading is, is, is good when you know what you're doing. <laughs> exactly, yeah. When you take it serious, I think that's really important, so yeah. So in your free time, what do you like to do when you turn off the charts and you know, do you have some, some time for yourself with your friends and family? Yeah, so I would say I'm a spiritual person. So I got into meditation four years ago mm -hmm. and that's essentially what helped me a lot to become a profitable trader because I used to visualize my goals and I also used to visualize smaller things like how do I want my trading setup to look like. And, and when you do meditation, would you do that in the mountains or in nature or do you prefer to be in a, like a home I like to do it in the nature, actually. Oh, yeah. yeah, and it's also part of my morning routine, so I do it every morning, and I set myself a rule that before trading, I always do a meditation, because wow. I know the impact it had on my trading, so I just want to stick with what works. So the people watching this, I already know they're going to be falling in love, <laughs> and wanna go, they're going to want to know more, how to find you, where, where can they do that? So you can obviously find me on Chart Champions. That's where I do the stock market updates, where I show about my futures trades, what I'm looking at next. I'm giving daily plans. I do that in my coaches channel, but also on every Tuesday and Thursday in the stock market update. Uh, besides that, I do a fully dedicated altcoin live stream every week. And yes, yeah, since I'm trading the altcoins as well. Besides that, you can find me on Twitter. It's Severin Jutta. And you can also find me on LinkedIn. It's the same name. Perfect. Well, there you go. Now, you know, much more about Severin, you know where to get him. If you want him daily like we want him, Chart Champions. And uh, yeah, it's been an absolute pleasure. And I've also really enjoyed this conversation, so it's been brilliant. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> Thank you ever so much.